Chapter 3 And the Lord spoke unto Moses and to Aaron, saying unto them, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, These are the beasts which you shall eat among all the beasts that are on the earth, whatever parts the hoof, and is cloven-footed, and choose the cut among the beasts, that shall you eat. Nevertheless, these shall you not eat of them that chew the cud or of them that divide the hoof, as the camel, because he chews the cud but divides not the hoof, he is unclean unto you, and the coney, because he chews the cud but divides not the hoof, he is unclean unto you, and the hare, because he chews the cud but divides not the hoof, he is unclean unto you, and the swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven-footed, yet he chews not the cud, he is unclean to you. Of their flesh shall you not eat, and their carcass shall you not touch. They are unclean to you. These shall you eat of all that are in the waters, whatever has fins and scales in the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, you shall eat. And all that have not fins and scales in the seas, and in the rivers, of all that move in the waters, and of any living thing which is in the waters, shall be an abomination unto you. They shall be even an abomination unto you. You shall not eat of their flesh, but you shall have their carcasses in abomination. Whatever has no fins nor scales in the waters, that shall be an abomination unto you. And these are they which you shall have an abomination among the fowls. They shall not be eaten, they are an abomination. The eagle, and the ossifrage, and the osprey, and the vulture, and the kite after his kind, every raven after his kind, and the owl, and the night hawk, and the cuckow, and the hawk after his kind, and the little owl, and the cormorant, and the great owl, and the swan, and the pelican, and the gear eagle, and the stork, the heron after her kind, and the lapwing, and the bat. All fowls that creep, going upon all four, shall be an abomination unto you. Yet these you may eat of every flying creeping thing that goes upon all four, which have legs above their feet to leap with upon the earth, even these, of them you may eat, the locust after his kind, and the bald locust after his kind, and the beetle after his kind, and the grasshopper after his kind. But all other flying creeping things which have four feet shall be an abomination unto you. And for these you shall be unclean, whoever touches the carcass of them shall be unclean until sunset and whoever bears any of the carcass of them shall wash his clothes and be unclean until sunset the carcasses of every beast which divides the hoof and is not cloven-footed nor chews the cud, are unclean unto you. Everyone that touches them shall be unclean. And whatever goes upon his paws among all manner of beasts that go on all four, those are unclean unto you. Whoever touches their carcass shall be unclean until sunset. And he that bears the carcass of them shall wash his clothes and be unclean until sunset. They are unclean unto you. These also shall be unclean unto you among the creeping things that creep upon the earth, the weasel, and the mouse, and the tortoise after his kind, and the ferret, and the chameleon, and the lizard, and the snail, and the mole. These are unclean to you among all that creep. Whoever does touch them when they are dead shall be unclean until the sunset. And upon whatever any of them, when they are dead, does fall, it shall be unclean, whether it be any vessel of wood, or raiment, or skin, or sack, whatever vessel it is wherein any work is done, it must be put into water, and it shall be unclean until sunset. So it shall be cleansed. And every earthen vessel into which any of them falls, whatever is in it shall be unclean, and you shall break it. Of all food which may be eaten, that on which such water comes shall be unclean. And all drink that may be drunk in every such vessel shall be unclean. And everything whereupon any part of their carcass falls shall be unclean. Whether it be an oven or stoves for pots, they shall be broken down, for they are unclean and shall be unclean unto you. Nevertheless, a fountain or pit wherein there is plenty of water shall be clean. But that which touches their carcass shall be unclean. And if any part of their carcass falls upon any sowing seed which is to be sown, it shall be clean, but if any water is put upon the seed, and any part of their carcass falls thereon, it shall be unclean unto you. And if any beast of which you may eat dies, he that touches the carcass thereof shall be unclean until sunset. And he that eats of the carcass of it shall wash his clothes and be unclean until sunset. He also that bears the carcass of it shall wash his clothes and be unclean until sunset. And every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth shall be an abomination. It shall not be eaten. Whatever goes upon the belly, 
and whatever goes upon all fours, or whatever has more feet among all creeping things that creep upon the earth, them you shall not eat, for they are an abomination. You shall not make yourselves abominable with any creeping thing that creeps, neither shall you make yourselves unclean with them that you should be defiled thereby. For I am the Lord your God. You shall therefore sanctify yourselves, and you shall be holy, for I am holy. Neither shall you defile yourselves with any manner of creeping thing that creeps upon the earth, for I am the Lord that brings you up out of the land of Egypt to be your God. You shall therefore be holy, for I am holy. This is the law of the beasts, and of the fowl, and of every living creature that moves in the waters, and of every creature that creeps upon the earth, to make a difference between the unclean and the clean, and between the beast that may be eaten and the beast that may not be eaten.